Good morning. Welcome back to our Friday morning conversations with Pastor Philomena. Today is Friday, December 11th. We welcome you to another one of our talks as you hear about what's happening in the life of Second Presbyterian Church. Well, we all know that we are in Advent. And every Sunday in Advent, we've been lighting these Advent candles. And so I encourage you to light a candle. Even if you don't have a wreath, you can light a candle. Whether it's a real candle or it's the one that is operated by battery, you can still light it. So to be in that light, that reminds us of Jesus Christ's birth that is coming. And it's getting dark lately, early. So that will light our hearts as well in preparation. We would like to extend a big thank you to all who contributed to the Angel Tree Network for the community here in Saginaw. It is a blessing to be able to give. And so we would like to say a big thank you to all who contributed, especially to Linda and the mission team who coordinated and made everything possible so that we can reach out to the community. You'll notice our, uh, our set has changed today. This Sunday at 9.30, we have our annual Christmas drama. A little different this year. It will be a virtual drama. Right. So tune in when we have our regular live stream of our Sunday worship service, Sunday at 9.30, and you will be able to watch our Christmas drama. Speaking about Christmas, we are preparing for our Christmas joy offering. And so you may have received information in your newsletter that the Presbyterian racial, ethnic, and retired ministers benefit from this Christmas joy offering. And so we will, will you prayerfully consider helping with the Christmas joy offering that we will be collecting on Christmas Eve? If you're one of our individuals who have bo has boxes of offering envelopes, there's a special envelope in there for the Christmas joy offering. There's actually two different envelopes. One is for Christmas joy, and that specifically, specifically goes to the Christmas joy offering that Pastor Philomena is discussing. Yes, and uh, we will be collecting them until end of December. Correct, correct. You may have noticed it says December 20th, but we give extended grace so you can turn it in by the end of December. Right. Mission study. Have you received your mission study survey either by snail mail or by email? If you have, but you have not been able to sit down and fill in all the blanks and return it to us, we ask you to please do so. This will help us to put a study together to identify who we are as Second Presbyterian Church in preparation to call for an installed pastor. So we encourage you, if you have already returned it, we say a big thank you and God bless. And if you are still in the process, we pray graciously for you that with blessings and a touch of heart, you will return it to us as soon as possible. So the mission study team will continue to do their work and get this done as soon as possible. If you received your mailing from the mission study group and you misplaced your mailing from the mission study group, you can always go to our website spcsaginaw.org, and there's a tab for the mission study. You can pull it up. You can type in that copy. You can email it back. You don't even have to print it out. You can just save it and send it on the way. So we encourage you to do that. Please do so. If you have questions, you can either call the church office or you can call any persons on that mission um, study team, which was listed on the letter that was sent to you. The letter is also on the website. So you can find that letter and the name of those individuals on that page as well. History. We had discussed a month or so ago some Second Presbyterian Church history. As we stated, our church was founded in 1864 at the corner of Midland and State Streets. We met in various schools around the area, one-room schoolhouses back then. And then along about 1872, about eight years after we were founded, there was some discussion about building 
a church home. And then that discussion sort of went away. Our church history book, our session minutes, they don't really say what happened, but our church history, which was written when our church turned 100, surmises that people talked about raising money for a building fund, and then people stayed away because of the building fund. So in 1972, there was another discussion to start raising money, and then those, that discussion went away. So long about 1882, some 18 years after the church was first founded, an official building fund began. And in 1882, we set out a couple elders to find, find a place to build a church. And the church, the, the place they stumbled upon was our current location. They bought an acre from Mr. and Mrs. Bacon, who lived in this area. They bought an acre and we constructed a small brick building and had services there. The building was dedicated in 1883, and that served us until the 1940s. And we will tell you what happened after that the next time we catch up with you. So in the meantime, please tune in on Sunday morning at 9.30 for our 9.30 worship virtual, and then midweek, Wednesday, with devotion, and then Friday again with conversation. But kids, if you're listening, please don't forget to tune in on Sunday at 4 p.m. with Reflection with Miss Peggy. We hope you can also join us on Sunday morning with special second at second at 10.30 a.m. on Zoom. If you need further information, please check the church website or check your weekly update. If you would like to communicate with us or share the needs that you have, please feel free to call the church office or send email to Pastor Philomena. In the meantime, keep listening and keep sending us your questions or what you would like to hear on Friday Conversations. Thank you, Mr. Adam. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Take care. <laughs>